important culture news. New Israeli drama series Tehran revol revolves around a Mossad agent who goes undercover on a dangerous mission in Iran that places her and everyone around her in jeopardy. Well, tech giant Apple TV will serve as a co-producer on the series from Cineflix Rights and Israeli network Khan Hatesle. I'm joined now in studio by the director of Tehran, Daniel Sirkin. Daniel, thank you very much for joining us for this. Thank you. It's a pleasure being here. A exciting news. Congratulations, thank first you, of all. You. Thank you very much. Uh, tell us maybe how this happened, how it sparked Apple's interest. Well, well so we've been working on this series for quite a few years, and, uh, and we have had uh, uh, Cineflix, uh, which uh, is a, a Canadian uh, distributor, major distributor, attached to our project from, you know, from the seed, from uh, when we started writing. And they really loved the story and they loved our previous work. Uh, and so, you know, we went on with some money from Cannes, with some money from Canadians, which made a slightly larger bundle than the usual, you know, uh, budget that we have in Israel to shoot our, you know, amazing series. And uh, and you know we came up came out with the with the results and we just showed two episodes to all of Cineflix large clients and then something really extraordinary happened the bidding war started amazing yeah and they just loved it it was just it was overwhelming it I'm still I'm still I'm still a little bit um, overwhelmed not sure not sure it's true you it's know, real. As some would say the Israeli public has a very maybe mysterious view about what goes on in Tehran we know the Prime Minister shows us uh, very covert operations ongoing in Tehran and the results um, was it hard for you to find out how operations like this even happen obviously they're very secretive so let's say we did we we did our homework but then we tried to kind of a little bit keep away from the truth because you know first of all we don't want to we don't want any trouble with the censorship <laughs> and and secondly you know we're artists so we we take ourselves uh, artistic uh, uh, and artistic freedom and uh, so we so we did we did go into uh, some of the Mossad work but i would say that our biggest uh, ambition our biggest project was learning about iran which is, as you said, a, a huge country, ancient culture, about 100 million people, which are portrayed in Israel just through, you know, the narrow scope of what our leaders want us to see. And, and it is harsh. Iran's regime is hard, not only on us, mainly on Iranians, mainly on young Iranians that want just to live a normal life. But we wanted to show the regular day-to-day -day life of a, just a normal young Iranian. And our Mossad agent comes in into Iran to do some sabotage, but then she sabotages her own heart. <laughs> what do you hope that maybe Israeli viewers who know very little about Iran, as most of us do, right. take away from Tehran? I think the young people. I think what, what we managed to do is, uh, of course, we did, you know, we recreated, we recreated Tehran in Athens which was a huge, immense task. But mostly what we did is we cast about a dozen of young Iranian actors who immigrated or par whose parents immigrated and speak excellent Farsi from all over the world, from America, from Europe. We brought them to Athens and they uh, portrayed this young group of youngsters who want a new life and who are helping our Mossad, Mossad agent or Maybe they don't know that they're helping a Mossad agent, but she meets the, she meets those young people, those young guys and girls, and for me, for us, I think that's the most important thing. To, you know, you see these young Iranians, and you 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 think, hey, they they can be having a beer here in Jaffa on the beach, or in Tel Aviv. They look the same. They have the same aspirations, and they're just youngsters like us that just want to live. So I think that for us is really important on and also it's just a thrilling series it's really really suspenseful it's really entertaining and there's a huge cliffhanger at, at the end of every episode and we have a, a knockout actress uh, Nif Sultan who learned Farsi especially for the role Which is unbelievable it's crazy it's crazy and she speaks perfect Farsi now and um, you know and it's and also we try to to touch on this subject of Iran and show a different face of Iran.
Well, I certainly look forward very much to watching the show, and I'm happy that because of things that happened uh, and taking it internationally, most of our viewers can see it too. It's a co-production. So thank you very much, Daniel Sikin, for being with us. It was a pleasure. Congratulations again, and continued good luck and success with this show and others. Thanks a lot. And thank